Hello, dear Etna Audio users. It's been a long time, but we have a new product called Percussion of Anatolia. This new product works as a MIDI group based, high quality sampled percussion instrument. Since our application is supporting both NKS and SDK formats, we like to do this demo over Native Instruments machine software. After opening up the application you have previously installed, you'll see a preview file called the Percussion of Anatolia. This is a short preview file, a MIDI loop for 120 BPM for two bars. To just to get an idea about the software itself. If you can open up the product like this, you'll see all the settings has been already made for this preset. Volume control, panorama and more options like effects control, muting, soloing. Let's check out the product. When you open up the program, this time at contact, now you will see a single preset file for the percussion of Anatolia. Now this time we didn't mind for a multiple preset version, because now the new interface gives us the, you know, group pool, instrument settings, and mixers. And our customers who have already used the studio drummer is going to find this interface very familiar. Let's look at it like this. We have 10 essential instruments on this interface. And if you like to see an example of it, when you select Asmadawu, you'll see different types of Asmadawu down below. All of our samples are capable of playing in real time or playing through a MIDI file. Like we already have loaded this Asmadawul. When you play it, you'll see this green highlighted side of the keyboard. When you select three, a different one, two is different as well, seven again different, and you'll instantly notice the quality of the samples we have. When you select the Arbani samples, three different types, or Nekara, five different ones, including the hold version and 13 different types of bandir. If you like to see the whole thing, talking drum, clay darbuka, 14 different types of darbuka, Fs, like tambourines, spoons, finger symbols, and as you can see, every instrument has their own standard ADSR settings. And you know, then you can actually fine tune every instrument, like sustain, decay. Maybe you can say the interface is very basic, but if you like to dive in deep, you have everything. Let's see the groove list. Let's say we gonna select the rhythm. Now you've seen here, we have almost 14 different folders. In every folder, we have grouped instruments on different variety of speeds and samples. When you see the groove section on the interface, you'll see the selection that you made and you can browse in with the arrows right here
both with the arrows and double clicking you can actually browse the you know folder in real time let's get into the pop ballad group you'll see a group tree that is currently up to date and we will continue to update this tree and you can see there are already almost thousand midi grooves and we'll keep them updated you know according to the different musical genres like the reggae tone is very big right now so As you can see in this groove, we have some new functions like copying and pasting, uh, the new drag and drop option. Like in this area, you can you know drag any groove you like to do any DAW. Now in this section, I prepared a very short and basic arrangement beforehand to gain some time. This is for you to understand how things work in the DAW environment. As you see here, I opened the program beforehand. Now in this main section, you'll see the grooves and you'll see the percussions that we use in the grooves. Now let's look at it here. I've prepared the track somehow like in trap style genre and it consists of you know synths, beats, bass and loops. And up here you'll see our previous products Breath of Anatolia and Strings of Anatolia. We applied pretty basic melodies. Now on the groove menu you'll see the folder structure and the on the right lane you're gonna see the tempo divided list and in the far right lane you'll see the MIDI files divided by the tempos now I think we have enough examples and I'll start to apply the MIDI files to the DAW using the drag and drop option And as the final result, here are the loops that I made. I would like to show you guys some options from the mixer window. Now you can see the 10 different instruments controlled by 10 different channels. If you like to route these channels through the outputs to any DAW inputs or the mixer view. I know our users already know them, but you know, if you like to choose them in mono, select one. Or for stereo, just select two. This is how easily you can address things. And if you like to use the channels unprocessed, you know, you have every option. And down below, you know, you're gonna see the channel routings. Down below, it says master. And the individual tracks right here, you can see the EQs and compression settings. And again, if you like to use them without processing, you can just easily root anything to any DAW input you like. With this new interface, we have the, you know, ease of use, of course, and the utmost, you know, functionality to get your performance at the top level. So this is it, guys. I hope you like it. 
And if you have any more questions about the product, please don't hesitate to ask. You can always contact us through our contact page. Thanks for watching. Please take care.